There are countless things to say about ancient Egypt. They are among the most powerful empires that rose in the history of mankind, and they remain one of the most incredibly fascinating and mysterious people in history. But there is just so much more to Egypt than meets the eye. From mysterious tombs to dazzling artifacts, this is Grand Discovery with you, and we compiled for you the 30 most shocking discoveries made in recent times in Egypt. Enjoy watching. In 1966, in Egypt's biggest burial ground, more than 250 mummies were found. They belonged to rich people from Bahari Oasis during Greco-Roman times. What's astonishing is that these mummies were made of gold. Why they were made this way remains a puzzle. This discovery is a big deal in Egypt's history, and it's still talked about today. Imagine the secrets these golden mummies hold, waiting for curious souls to uncover their mysteries. Meet the Ushabti, tiny figures found in many tombs, including the tombs of poor people. Egyptians thought the afterlife meant working for Osiris, an ancient Egyptian god. To dodge this, they placed these little figures in tombs, hoping they'd take the job instead. Imagine even in the afterlife they had job tricks. From golden mummies to clever Ushabti, ancient Egyptians had a flair for mysteries, don't you think? What if these little figures held secrets were yet to uncover? Now here's another fascinating find, the spinning statue. Neb Senu, a significant ritual figure, lay hidden in a tomb for ages. However, recently it surfaced, intriguing experts and spectators alike. The statue, along with other ancient treasures, is on display now. Isn't it mind-boggling? Imagine, after all these years, we get to see these wonders. Some wonder if cameras caught it moving, or if it's some playful trick. What do you think? Do you believe in ancient magic, or is there a scientific explanation? Share your thoughts in the comments. Let's now journey to Egypt's Baharia Oasis, where another incredible discovery awaits. This is the Roman mummy with origins dating back around 2,000 years. It was found enclosed in a plaster coffin. Unlike traditional mummies, Roman mummies were wrapped intricately in cloth or linen shrouds, displaying their unique cultural practices. What makes these even more fascinating are the Fayum mummy portraits, which are realistic paintings found on wooden boards attached to upper-class mummies in Roman Egypt. These portraits offer a glimpse into the faces of people from ancient times, adding an extra layer of wonder to this historical puzzle. Have you ever wondered where ancient stories were recorded, apart from walls, well, they're found on papyrus like the Thule papyrus, a real treasure. This special paper holds secrets about UFOs and extraterrestrials. Dating back to 1480 BC, during Pharaoh Thutmose III's time, it tells of a strange event. In the 22nd year of his rule, a massive ball of fire silently glided across the sky, stretching 46 meters long, passing over the palace. UFO enthusiasts believe this ancient account hints at extraterrestrial encounters. Imagine people back then, awestruck by this strange sight. The Tully Papyrus gives us a peek into the ancient sky, leaving us with questions. Were they visited by aliens or something else? It's a thrilling puzzle, isn't it? What do you think really happened? Now I'll tell you about an incredible discovery. This one is a hidden room in the Great Pyramid of Giza. Just a few years back, researchers stumbled upon it when the floor suddenly collapsed. Using advanced tools, they found a 30-meter-long, 2-meter-high chamber. Inside, there were containers filled with scrolls. To preserve the ancient writings, they chose not to open the containers, ensuring the precious scrolls stayed safe. This discovery gives us a peek into the mysteries held within the ancient pyramid, revealing secrets that have been hidden for centuries. Once considered a local legend, the tomb of Osiris in Egypt became a real sensation. Imagine this place as a grand puzzle box, with chambers, traps, and secret passages. Archaeologists stumbled upon it, turning a myth into reality. This tomb isn't just any tomb, it's a maze filled with surprises. It even borrows its style from ancient Assyrian architecture. The centerpiece? 
a godly figure sitting atop a tall staircase. Osiris sure knew how to make an entrance. I bet even treasure seekers got a good workout deciphering this ancient escape room. Ever heard about the screaming mummy, Merit Amun? Well, let me share the spine-chilling tale with you. Discovered in 1881, this mysterious mummy was found in Deir el-Bahari, near Luxor. What makes her story spine-tingling is how she was mummified, her mouth wide open in a silent scream. For years, experts wondered about her agonizing final moments. In 2020, a CT scan revealed she likely died of a massive heart attack, her face frozen in horror due to rigor mortis. Although her wrappings hinted at her name, her identity remains elusive. Was she royalty? or an ordinary person. We may never know, leaving us with a chilling glimpse into the past. Now, what do you think happened next in our journey through ancient secrets? Stay tuned for more surprises. If you thought Zeus was solely revered in Greece, think again. Recent archaeological findings reveal Zeus was worshipped beyond Greek borders. In 2022, the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism announced the find. Ruins of a Zeus temple in Tel El Farma, northwestern Sinai, a site used in the late Pharaonic, Byzantine, and Greco-Roman eras. The temple fused Zeus with Mount Kaisos in Syria, a unique blend. Inscriptions suggested Roman Emperor Hadrian's renovation between 117 and 138 AD. This revelation forms part of Egypt's tourism efforts, aiming to revive a sector hit hard by the recent global epidemic. The global reach of Zeus, echoing through ancient ruins, showcases the interconnectedness of ancient civilizations. Who would have thought Zeus had such a passion for travel? Wonder where he'll pop up next. Discoveries from ancient tombs have long fascinated us, but what archaeologists found on November 18, 2022 near Cairo was beyond extraordinary. Imagine unearthing the hidden tomb of Queen Neith, a ruler lost in time, accompanied by over 300 coffins and a trove of mummified remains. This revelation shook the foundations of what we thought we knew about ancient Egypt. Among these ancient treasures, a mysterious creature's bones were discovered, a riddle yet to be solved. What could this mythical creature be? Your guesses are as good as ours. Imagine this. Crocodiles, the guardians of the Nile, turned into mummies. Egyptians honored Sobek, the god of water, by mummifying these creatures. But wait, here's the twist. In the Kobat al-Hawa crocodile tomb, it's all about animal mummies, a quirky first in history. Usually animal mummies share space with priests, but not here. These reptiles got their special spot. Ancient Egypt sure knew how to add a bit of surprise to their tombs. Let's travel 5,000 years back into ancient Iraq, where the present Islamic Republic was not always the norm. A recent discovery uncovered a massive plaza, believed to be a site for sacrifices to the Mesopotamian warrior god, Ningirsu. This finding gives insight into ancient feasts, animal sacrifices, and processions during hunting and war. Among the artifacts found was a peculiar bronze duck figurine, possibly an offering to the goddess Nan Shu. Remarkable ceremonial bowls and cups showcased meticulous craftsmanship, revealing the site's religious significance. Animal bones in the earth reinforced the idea of ancient sacrifices. Imagine what these ancient rituals were like, and how they stack up against our modern ceremonies. Many ancient treasures have been uncovered, but this one, buried beneath the earth, may be out of this world. King Tutankhamun's dagger, discovered in his tomb in the Valley of the Kings, has been found to have extraterrestrial origins. According to a team of Italian and Egyptian researchers, the blade was made with iron from a meteorite. The dagger is believed to date back to around 1350 BC, about 200 years before the Iron Age. The origin of the meteorite used for King Tut's dagger remains a mystery. However, a paper compared the blade to an iron meteorite with similar proportions of iron, nickel, and cobalt, discovered near and named after Karga Oasis. The dagger's metal was presumably from the same meteor shower. Who knew Tutankhamun was rocking space-age technology? Talk about a pharaoh with cosmic style.
Now, in the dusty layers of history, a dazzling secret has been unearthed. Three exquisite rings and a mesmerizing necklace, tucked away in a burial site dating back over 3,300 years. They were discovered treasures from Akhenaten City, Akhetaten. This once vibrant city, built by Pharaoh Akhenaten, was famed for his sun disk worship and religious reforms. Amidst glittering gold, a ring adorned with Bees, the god of fun and bees, caught our eye. Bees, the guardian of women in childbirth and the life of the party, raises intriguing questions. Who wore this ring? A pharaoh's confidant or a commoner seeking Bees' merriment? Ancient Egypt's mysteries persist, reminding us that even Bees had his secrets and were just beginning to buzz about them. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, or Pharos, was this ancient Egyptian port's version of a flashy neon sign. A towering structure built in the 3rd century BCE, it was like the Eiffel Tower of its time, standing over 350 feet tall. Fast forward to 1994, when some French archaeologists went scuba diving and stumbled upon its remains underwater. Then, in 2016, they thought, why not turn this into an underwater museum? So now, you can literally dive into history to explore a sunken, lighthouse-turned-museum. Talk about making waves in the archaeological world. Now I'll tell you about a surprising discovery from ancient Egypt, the Turin Erotic Papyrus. Unearthed in the ancient city of Thebes, this unique artifact dates back more than 3,000 years. What makes it fascinating? It's a scroll depicting various explicit and playful scenes of lovemaking from the Egyptian era. This discovery reminds us that, hey, our ancestors weren't all serious business. They knew how to have fun, too. I guess some things truly never change. Even in ancient Egypt, love was in the hieroglyphics. The Khufu ship, a marvel from ancient Egypt, was discovered in 1954 near the Great Pyramid of Giza, courtesy of archaeologists led by Kamal el-Malak. This ancient vessel, crafted during Pharaoh Khufu's reign, spans a whopping 43.4 meters in length and 5.9 meters in width. Imagine that. It's not just big, it's one of the world's oldest, largest, and best-preserved ships made up of 1,224 carefully reconstructed pieces. This solar barge, as they called it was believed to ferry the resurrected king across the heavens with the sun god Ra. Talk about sailing into the afterlife in style. Ever heard of the mysterious Benben stones in Egypt? Well, these obelisk-like stones held immense importance in ancient Egyptian religion, symbolizing the primeval mound in their creation myth. One was found in the Temple of the Phoenix, believed to be kept in a shrine within Adam's temple in Heliopolis. Picture this. It was sacred in the temple of Ra, where the first sun rays touched down. Think of it as the prototype for the famous obelisks you see today. Museums worldwide showcase these fascinating stones, often adorned with intriguing carvings and inscriptions. Now guess what? In 2018, Archaeologists hit the jackpot in Saqqara, Egypt. They discovered a super-ancient mummification workshop. Picture this, a place where they made mummies. They found burial rooms, treasures, and even a mummy mask blinged out with shiny stones. Talk about ancient bling. There were also mummies, fancy vessels, and statues made of cool stuff like Egyptian alabaster. It's like stepping into an ancient factory. But instead of cars, they were making mummies. Who knew mummies had their own assembly line back in the day? Ancient Egyptians really knew how to spice up the afterlife. In a groundbreaking discovery in April 2021, Egyptian archaeologists, led by the renowned doctor Zahi Hawass, unearthed the lost golden city near Luxor, Egypt, dating back over 3,000 years to the New Kingdom period. This ancient city, believed to be founded by the powerful ruler Amenhotep III, thrived during King Tutankhamun's reign. Remarkably, it's the largest ancient city ever found in Egypt. This monumental find ranks alongside Tutankhamun's tomb in archaeological significance. Imagine, after millennia of mystery, this golden treasure trove of history has finally seen the light of day.
Imagine stumbling upon a 1,700-year-old mystery. In the ancient Egyptian port of Berenike, archaeologists unearthed a falcon shrine. This extraordinary find housed 15 headless falcons atop a pedestal and a stone monument depicting unknown gods. The falcon imagery, rich with symbolism, baffles researchers. It might represent various deities. Adding to the intrigue, a nearby room revealed a stella with a puzzling Greek inscription, it is improper to boil a head in here. What on earth were the ancient Egyptians up to? And why was there a stern warning on a stela saying, it is improper to boil a head in here? Let's crack this ancient riddle together. Now, here's a golden nugget of ancient Egyptian mystery. Archaeologists have unearthed mummies with gold tongues. Yes, you heard that right. Gold tongues. These blingy appendages were thought to help the departed chat it up with the gods in the afterlife. These glittering mummies were found in neighboring tombs, one near Cairo at Oxyrhynchus, and the other at the intriguing Taposiris Magna site. Imagine the conversations these ancient souls must be having in the great beyond. Who knows? Maybe they're still gossiping about Cleopatra's legendary eyeliner. What do you think these golden-tongued mummies would say if they could talk? Turns out, ancient Egyptian women had some seriously cool pregnancy hacks. Archaeologists found tattoos on mummies dating back to the Middle Kingdom. These tattoos, featuring dots, dashes, and lines, were like ancient insurance policies, believed to be linked to the protective powers of BEs, the childbirth guardian. Imagine having your own supernatural bodyguard in the delivery room. Ancient Egyptian moms knew how to keep it safe and stylish, didn't they? In 2001, the lost city of Heracleion emerged from the depths of Abu Kir Bay, Egypt, its secrets hidden under 19 feet of water after earthquakes and tidal waves had their way. Rediscovered by the European Institute for Underwater Archaeology, this ancient hub, founded in the 8th century BC, was a bustling port for Greek trade, featuring the Grand Temple of Amun and a sanctuary to Aphrodite. Who knew underwater ruins could hold such ancient tales? The Tomb of Tea, unearthed by Auguste Mariette in 1865, lies in Saqqara, Egypt. This renowned archaeological marvel showcases vivid daily life scenes and intricate funerary depictions. T, a figure of authority in the 5th dynasty, managed the Abu Sur pyramids and sun temples. The tomb's highlights include a spacious courtyard with 12 columns, an offering hall featuring T's life-sized statue, and meticulous portrayals of ancient life. It's a captivating glimpse into Egypt's past, preserved for curious minds to explore. Travel back in time to ancient Egypt, where board games were all the rage. This is Senate, a fascinating game that reveals the minds of our ancient pals. Picture this, a board with 30 squares and players maneuvering cones and cylinder-shaped pieces. It's like their version of today's board games, but with a mystical twist. Instead of regular dice, they use sticks with different point values. The goal of the game? Reach the end before your opponent, just like navigating the soul's journey to meet Osiris. Some squares had hieroglyphs signifying dangers and temptations on the way to Osiris's judgment. Imagine playing for your soul's fate. Ancient Egyptians surely knew how to make a board game feel epic. Who knew your move in a game could determine your afterlife adventure? Roll the sticks, take your chances, and hope Osiris is in a good mood. Behold the Red Pyramid in Dashur, Cairo. This marvel, crafted by King Sneferu during the Old Kingdom, boasts a rusty red glow, giving it its name. Standing proudly as Egypt's third largest pyramid, it marked their first successful attempt at a true smooth-sided pyramid. Imagine the builders thinking, nailed it. But really, what's the secret to making ancient stones blush? Perhaps they heard a good pyramid joke? Now, here's a spine-chilling one. In the eerie depths of Saqqara, a cursed city of the dead, archaeologists unearthed 160 ancient sarcophagi since September. Some tomb walls bear ominous curses, 
threatening impure intruders with a fate like that of a goose. This haunted site, just outside Cairo, once held ancient corpses, but now is a surreal blend of the living and the dead, a morbid coexistence that sends shivers down your spine. It's a chilling reminder. Sometimes, history's ghosts walk right beside us. In 2018, Egyptian archaeologists struck gold, figuratively speaking, underwater at Aswan's Kamambo Temple. What did they find? A hefty marble head of the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius is hidden beneath the temple's depths. Standing at 40x33 by 34 centimeters, this rare gem, dating back to 160, 182 AD, showcases the emperor's distinctive wavy hair and beard. It's not every day you find a piece of history so well-preserved and full of stories, right? Now, in a bizarre twist of ancient history, archaeologists stumbled upon the Pit of Giant Hands in Avarice, Egypt, back in 2011. Picture this. 16 severed right hands neatly placed in pits, dating back 3,600 years. Apparently, the Egyptians had a peculiar habit, collecting hands from defeated enemies in exchange for gold. Now imagine the negotiations. Oh, you want gold? Sure, just give us a hand. I guess we'll never know. Or was it a high five gone wrong? Share your thoughts in the comments. Friends, thanks for exploring with us on Grand Discovery. If you enjoyed these amazing revelations, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen. It's unbelievable.